Yeah, 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 so You miss me? Welcome back to Braven's Integra Garage, where we don't do anything except for work on Braven's damn Integra around here. You know what, dude? I've been telling you I want to work on my ruckus. I don't care. And look at you. Bro. Look at what you're doing right now. Like, we literally just finished buffing his car. Now it's the next process. In the last video, I told you guys that we're, we need to go this weekend and go get the sunroof, and then we're going to pick back up once we get the sunroof. Where'd you go? This dude. This guy. He gets home from school. Look at him, bro. He's getting all this stuff out. He's got his headlights out. He's taking up my table. Bro, I had the table out because I was going to lay out ruckus parts right here. I had the table out because I was going to put freaking ruckus parts right here. Yeah, I'm the editor. I'm the editor. You already fucking know. I can't do anything around here, man. Until this Integra is done and this little sad boy over here is happy with his little creamy Integra, doesn't it? Sweet. Then I'm not gonna be able to work on nothing. Yep. What is all this? The heck is that? That's the door trims. Oh, that needs to be painted, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, of course it does. This this probably needs to be. No, that doesn't. Oh, that's just a felt liner, huh? Yeah. So what about that? That's gonna have to be painted. That needs to be painted. These need to be painted. These need to be painted. Oh that my god. This? Yeah. Yeah. These need to be painted. Oh my god. Bro, you know what doesn't need to be painted? Headlights. Yeah, because they're already done, Raven. I know. Have I ever mentioned that this car feels like it's never, never ending? ending? What you got there? Check the label. It's got our address. Ooh, wee boy. What is that? Is that for my car? Nope. That's from my car, it's bro. The DA. Bro, what is going on here? Bro, people love the DA. Yeah, you know what? I'm not putting that on my YouTube channel. I'm not doing it. You can post. You can post it on your Instagram. I will post it on my Instagram. For me to put it on my YouTube channel, I would need some hardware sitting here for me. I'm just kidding. I'm definitely kidding. NPC's always taking care of both of us, man. Definitely a dope ass company. Let's get this stuff cracked open. What's that? You're gonna rip it. Is that a little sticker? That look good on khaki. What's that? Bro, Whoa, shit. there's stuff in it. Ha ha ha! I told you they sent you silver. Yes. <laughs> Dude, those are clean, bro. Look at all that 100 proof. Dude, I love their packaging. Like, I'm not just like being a fanboy because they're sending us stuff. I really do like how they package it like that. All oh, each individual piece. 12s. Damn, son. Just a bunch of 10s and a bunch of 12s, huh? Yes, sir. That's what's up. What'd you say? There's like 20 of each, huh? Yeah, there's 20 of each. Dude, that's sick. <laughs> yeah, where are you going to put all that? We, I kind of Everywhere. Kind of I think we need to replace these. Yeah. On the that's fenders? Why, that's why I got the 12s. No, those Probably are 10s. 10s, yeah. You got 12s for what? The doors? The doors yeah. Bro, we'd have to pull the fenders back off. You Nimrod? If we ever take the fenders off, we'll replace them. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Dude, this guy. So yeah, we're using OEM hardware in there that's actually bolting the doors on. I don't know if we're going to be able to see mine. Yeah, you guys see on khaki, I have the uh, Allen wrench head bolts in there. Like, that's not NPC stuff. I got that stuff from a hardware. Unfortunately, back whenever I was doing all this stuff with khaki, I didn't even know about NPC at that time, so... <sighs> Unfortunately, but this guy this man's over here is gonna have NPC hardware everywhere oh, Instagram shot right there if you guys aren't already following Braven on Instagram Make sure you do to keep up with the creamy DA of course I've been trying not to post his car too much on mine if you guys want to see more of the DA You need to go hit up Braven's Instagram cuz uh, mine. yeah the boy's trying to, you know, get his following up there, try to... About to be a 6K already. Yeah, he's trying to catch up with his dad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm the dad, bro. Why? You know what I mean? Like, you're the hip son. Look at you with your curly hair and blue eyes and shit. Why the hell do I have, like, double your followers? Oh, because, is see, that? I'm not... I, I don't be posting like that, you know? 
Why are you talking like that right now? You have a, I gotta be my pretty boy act. Oh my god, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> get the, let's put these damn headlights on. Freaking sad boy over here. Okay, well, you see what had happened was, you see the way my bank account is set up. <laughs> you guys order some stickers, please? My electric is out. Seems that uh, Deadbeat Garage no longer has power. Oh, for real, dude, I don't know what happened. Uh, we have uh, Empower. It's like a uh, prepaid electric system, like where you put money on. Instead of the electric racking up all month and then you pay a large bill, like we put like $50 on and we get to use like $50 worth of electric. And then if it runs out, then it turns off so it's an app on your phone you just add more money and it turns back on right so the electric went out i just checked the app we still have money on there i put more money on there just to see if that works and voila electric is still off and i was wondering if maybe it's an outage but their lights are on yeah i'm gonna i gotta figure it out i don't know why the hell the electric's off and not coming back on i was like damn bro we've already get rated or what yeah. <laughs> they cut the power right before they raid us. All right, so there is an outage. Uh, until 8.10 is when they estimate that it'll be back on. And it's only 6 o'clock right now. So we gotta go two hours without electric. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. It's always something, bro. It's always something. If I, was, if I was working on the ruckus right now, I'd be pissed. Well, I guess we're gonna be using natural light while we still have it, which ain't gonna be for very much longer, but we do have these solar lights up here. They're not very bright, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, so what's really nice about this hardware is it comes with the little rubber like uh, washer that you put on the back so that it actually has a nice little cushion to it so it doesn't damage your paint you know what i'm saying oh yeah boys over at mpc with their 100 proof hardware be looking out for you making sure you're not your boys making sure you're not chipping your paint up donkey balls Sheesh, looks like a drift car bro <laughs> Alrighty, so I clean up all the trim pieces and everything just for around the rear window. This goes up and down, like around the uh, door, like on the side of the door, to just the window trim pieces. I have two more rubber grommets and stuff that I need to paint for the roof of the inside, like inside. This is the the roof piece and this is the door pieces. Uh, so all this needs to be painted black and just pretty much clean it well like i already cleaned it scuffed it and it's all ready to go it's all completely ready to go and get sprayed i'm just trying to get the car done uh all this is all the little stuff that has just been taking forever because i didn't know where the clips were but i'll show you guys right now how i got most of the clips that i need there's still a few that i need left but it's okay like i can just get them later so it's been a pain in the butt but it's okay i took today on trying to find the clips and everything on the other car and I got them all off. I don't have every single clip that I need. So we just gotta hope that maybe it'll be perfectly fine without all the clips or try to see if we can find some on some website somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying them. Bring me some. See you later, bro. La la la. All right, go get his Chinese food. So I'm gonna get as much done before I go into a food coma. All right, so I got that piece just installed. It looks pretty good. I like it, I like it, I like it. All right, so I just got both the door panels out. Uh, I have this one laid down because I had to flip it over. Like a lot of the material and stuff is popping out. Uh, it was like that since I got it. So I got some spray adhesive and I laid it all back down. So this one's ready to go. I'm pretty sure that one has no, uh, none of it is actually coming up. So that one's good to go. Calm. Oh, my dad. Hello? Uh, orange chicken and beef and broccoli. <laughs> As soon as it all starts coming together, it's gonna look so great. God, I'm loving this car so much. I gotta vacuum the carpet because my dad got it dirty while he was wet sanding the car. 
Same as my steering wheel. I will put RIP to the carpet in the chat because of my father. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so next step, as you can see, it's dark. I'm not sure if the last clip was dark or not, but it's dark. I had to run that wire right there through that whole pillar right there. So, I mean, it took me a long time. I got it through, and then I had to clean up some, st I had to clean up this stuff in order to install it. Now I'm about to install the seat belts and stuff for the rear um, so that it's already done. And since the front seat belts are already installed, they're already ready to go. I just gotta do the rear seat belts right now. This bolts up like this. Line up with the holes there and there. Alright, so got all the rear seat belts in. Also the little brackets for, for the back seat. Plus the middle a middle clip. Then I got the just two of the brackets for the back. Funny thing is, I'm pretty sure we got these from the junkyard at some point. They were trying to charge us like ten dollars for each one. I think it was like I think it was really bogus. I, I'm pretty sure that's how that went down. If we go back to the old videos, then you'll probably see that. It's crazy to think about now. Alright, so I'm pretty sure the inside on the floor area is already ready to go for full interior. Um, as soon as we get the sunroof, then we'll be able to put the complete interior all the way back together. Which I'm pretty hyped for that. I don't know, I'm just super excited to get that finally all together and done and ready to go. I'm about to put the third brake light in. I'll show you guys it right now. There you go. All right, so I got these three things out. This is the rail piece, the rubber piece, and then also the visor piece. I had to install those three things at the same time. Uh, I'll start with the rail piece and the visor piece, but the visor piece has little brackets that come out so it bolts onto. I just had to mark exactly where everything needs to go. Dang, you got seat belts in this thing. Facts. Wow, would you look at that? And a third brake light too. Dang, you didn't even clean them first. I did too clean them. <laughs> and it looks like that red part's gonna use the heat treatment, bro. I did. What's going on, dog? You heat treated that? Yeah, one of them I did too much. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> you did too much. So I was like, yeah, I did too much. Oh my god. Sheesh. This one looks so good. Bro, you gotta hold the light up so I can see it. Let's see how this creamy brake light came out. Yeah, it's gonna look better whenever it's the actual brake light because it'll light up evenly. <laughs> but yeah, that looks dope. This dude wants to freaking tint his windows, man. Put it in the comments whether he should actually tint his windows because I think the fishbowl look is gonna be sweet on this because the interior is flawless. Why are you making it? <laughs> what the hell are you doing, dude? I, I get it though, man. It's Arizona. Um, he is gonna have air conditioning in his car and it's gonna make it a lot more enjoyable to be able to roll up the windows if they're tinted It'll and be able to block some sun out. But what you need to do, I forget what it's called, but they have tint that's more, that, that's quite a bit more expensive, but it blocks the sun's rays, like it's UV resistant or whatever. So that way you don't have to actually go with dark. A lighter tint, but that's like a, I, I don't know, like a 30% or something, I don't know. Just do like a lighter color tint. Um, just get the more expensive stuff so it actually blocks the heat out and the sun rays, but that'd be dope. Dude, this thing's really coming along, man. It could be done tomorrow. Sheesh. This thing is coming along, bro. We need to get a battery still. Dude, I need like 10 different batteries. <laughs> like every car around here, except for Khaki, needs a new battery. We have to borrow the battery from the EK. The, the Suburban, no, the... The EK's battery's junk, bro. All the batteries are junk, man. <laughs> we need to get new batteries for like everything. I just noticed how much you could see that plastic piece. Yeah, it was really faded before. Yeah, good thing I freaking didn't let you put it in like that. Cool. He says, he said, just record David in the car because he always does something funny. Ah, no. <laughs> That's what he said. Bro. So everybody gets to their destination right now. Tell him, David. When I get the, the, the <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're about to get to the destination. Or read us in your reader. The destination is on your left. Ish. Them Ooh. wheels though. Them wheels are clean. And they are clean. You Are ready? Yeah. Make this transaction. Drugs. Just kidding. Say so no to drugs unless you're free. Oh, you need it, right? Yeah, that's all I need. I have the bolts if you want. I think I'm missing one, but I have them all there if you want. Yeah, just gotta take it home and throw it in. Yeah, it'll be ready. Car's clean. Yeah, it looks it's pretty good. It sucks it's automatic. 
Oh, it's automatic. Oh, it's automatic? Bro, those freaking tail lights, bro. Things are clean. Yeah, I want 50-50s. The body's straight. It's really nice, dude. Holy crap, brother. Really I, I wish I could keep it, but my my next DA will be a black one. I've had like seven white ones. Oh, crap. Like Why don't you just paint it? Yeah. You just want to start fresh? Yeah, I don't want to All right, so uh, we just picked up the sunroof. He was a really dope guy. Um, really cool. He has like a, uh, like that car is like super nice and he's parting it out. Body is extremely yeah, extreme. straight. Yeah, body is completely straight. I'm just like, oof. I didn't want to, I didn't want to leave. Yeah, anyways. All right, I'll see you guys at home. Finally, this guy's got a damn sunroof, man. We've been trying for a couple of days now. See, the thing is, is it's currently Saturday right now. We've been ready to put the interior in this car for like, well, since like last Saturday. But yeah, like after we're done buffing the car and all that stuff, like we've been sitting here wanting to put the interior in so freaking bad. I made a post on Facebook and on Instagram just basically looking for a damn sunroof because we did find this one. This guy had it, but he wasn't available until today. And we were trying to get one like ASAP. But dude, I don't know. It was worth the wait, man, because this thing is clean bro this thing is really clean like the glass doesn't even have any scratches in it or anything so it came out really nice man and then uh already pulled the little slider out and painted it black to match the rest of the interior because you guys already know braven completely blacked his interior out this minus the so good <laughs> minus the door panels though i kind of like the gray because no think about it the seats have that same tone. but but you know yeah, I, I understand that. But you know behind this, it looks just like this. My old DA, we actually peeled this this off. And then there's adhesive back there. But if you get the adhesive off, the whole door panel just looks like this. It's actually pretty clean. Know, maybe in the future, but right now I like this. Yeah, it's, no, that's good. But anyhow, we're, we're going to go ahead and try to get this damn sunroof up inside of here. You have the bolts? Yeah, they're already. Hell freaking yeah, let's do this. Lined up because it's got some play. Oh, okay. I was just screwing in a little bit because it just barely started. Not too shabby. It almost looks like it goes there. It does. <laughs> what the hell? It looks really dope from the top, bro. Like just seeing, like it, it, like the detail. You know what I'm saying? Like actually seeing the car get some details to it. Yeah. Hell freaking yeah. It came out so freaking nice. The thing is so clean, I love it. So, I got, as you see here, there's a hose there that goes down this pillar. There's a hose in that corner, and that one right there, and also in that one. So I got all the hoses ran for the drains so that it doesn't go right into my interior. Sheesh, bro, this is looking so minty, bro. Now it's time to install the headliner. I'm excited. Ooh, my hand's shaking. You see this? This is this is natural shake. This is not me faking it. No, no, no. True dizzy hands is coming back today. Father! Dad! But this fool came in here, man. Give it a hair, it was a freaking Red Bull machine. And you're like, ooh, Red Bull. Dad! Dad! Did you call me? Yes! Why? Because I need a freaking help, real quick. Can you hold one side of the liner up? Because I try to go to focus on one side, and the other side starts to bend. You freaking scared me, bro. Like, I. <laughs> I I've been I calling for like five minutes. Hell freaking yeah, I'm not even gonna show him bro. Yeah, wait, wait till you get it all yeah, in. It so it's just stirred. like bow bro, you know what I'm saying? Dude, this interior is gonna look dope. Like I'm actually excited to see what it looks like with everything completely blacked out. Oh, I'm not supposed to be showing. <laughs> Anyhow, my boy came over to help me work on the Suburban. He doesn't want me to give him any kind of shout outs because he's like, nah man, I'm just trying to help out a buddy, you know what I'm saying? He's like, I don't, I don't need you to put me on a video, but I'm putting him on a video. What's up, Ratchet? What's going on? <laughs> he came over to do the, the fuel pump on the Suburban for me. Um, knocked it out, bro. Like, he was here 15 minutes in his damn 
fuel tank was already sitting on the ground. So the fuel sending unit was definitely bad, but I'm kind of under the impression that the fuel pump itself wasn't bad. What's up? Whenever you drop that tank out, <laughs> was there gas in it? It looked like somebody came over and they said, F it. siphon it. <laughs> <laughs> he he got the gas tank on the ground. It was completely empty. I mean, there's a little bit. There's a little bit in the bottom, but that thing was like bone dry, bro. There was no gas in this, so that's probably what was going on. But the thing is, is my gas gauge said that there was gas, and apparently there wasn't. So yeah, an empty gas tank kicked my ass. But this thing sounds a lot better than what it did before. So I think that fuel pump was actually probably going bad. Yeah, it just sounds so much better than what it did before. That's six O roars. Well, Ratchet doesn't want me to give his Instagram a shout out or anything, but I will say if you guys are, do you do side, you do side work? All the time. All the time. So if you guys want, if you're local, if you need any side work as far as mechanic work and stuff, they can hit you up or do you, you want them to just hit me up and I'll tell them where, how to get yeah. a hold of you. Yeah. yeah, so if you're local and you need uh, mechanic work, just hit me up and I'll share his Instagram. He doesn't he doesn't want me to share his Instagram because he's trying to build it on his own. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't want a shout out from somebody to grow. You know what I mean? Which I can respect that. That's what's up. I mean, unless you want me to just tell it to him. I can put your Instagram on the screen, bro. Like, you do good work, dog. All right. For the locals, for the locals, you know what I'm saying? You're not traveling to Texas or going to California to go on. I wouldn't be able to do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a broke ass Mexican, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's a broke ass Mexican. But yeah, he, he most certainly came over and took care of me. He's gonna be uh he's gonna be back either tomorrow or next weekend to do some work on the EK also. Cause there, there's a lot of stuff around here that needs to be done that I just, I don't have the time for unless I'm making a video on it. And who wants to see a video of me putting a fuel pump inside of a Suburban, you know what I'm saying? So he's most certainly helping me out tremendously. So go, uh, if, if you're local and you guys need any work, his Instagram's right here on the screen. Hit him up, dude. If you need anything done, you, you work on pretty much everything, right? Much. Yeah, hit up Ratchet, dog. <laughs>
And yeah, I just got back from dropping Ratchet off at home. Bro, for real, big shout out to that guy for coming over and knocking the fuel pump out for me. Um, he might be back either tomorrow either tomorrow or next weekend. He's going to come help me tackle the EK and do the... He's going to help me do the alternator because you guys know we replaced the alternator already. I think it's bad again. Uh, I won't mention why. It was my fault, guys. I won't let him throw me under the bus this time. I'll throw myself under the bus. Okay. I if think I had tightened the stud a little bit too much, which then spin the, the threads. He didn't know any better. It's all right. It's no big deal. I've actually done it before in the past also. It's a it's a learning experience, but Braven was running a new charge wire to the alternator, and he over-tightened that stud, and he spun it. The one on the alternator, I think he broke it loose on the inside in there, but I don't know. It doesn't charge for shit anymore, so that's the reason why I haven't been driving that car. But um, I want to get back on it, and because we have suspension, we have a bunch of stuff to do to the EK. Um, I got to get some uh, merch made up for the EK, and probably for Creamy also, and get that giveaway going, man. What a giveaway? We're giving away Creamy? No, we're giving. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're giving away the EK, bro. Bro, you have absolutely no freaking idea how sick this thing is. Like his seat, it looks clean, right? Right? Looks clean. You have no idea. Watch this. Takes all the dust off. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy crap, bro. Here in the lands. <laughs> Like it not only gets all the dust off, but it like fluffs up the material, man. It just makes it look more like, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's dope. You know what's sad? That's been in your room since we cleaned it. Yeah, no. In your room, bro. Yeah. You it dusty probably, ass. It probably slept in my room once. Yeah, that, <laughs> that goes to show, that goes to show you how dusty you are. Boom, bada, bing. So Braven did a thing. Yeah, a little thing. A little thing, which is actually is, is really thing. dope. It's a big thing. It's pretty sick. Go do it. Go do it. Go do it. It was it was gangster. Yeah, he said it was. He said it was gangster. Wait a second. Wait for it. Oh 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see the wobble it had? With time, she'll get, get her strength. Yeah, it's gotta it's gotta work in a little bit. Everything's a little tight. <laughs> do it again. She was wobbling. I she say let's do it again. Looking. Three, two, one. Blast off. <laughs> oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it takes it a moment, <laughs> but it gets there. That is pretty dope, though. Now we can stop using the damn bar. Jeez, look at you, the cargo cover. Man. Or just look at it while it's closed. Dang, bro. That is so complete. The what? They adjust the trunk. You have the headliner on? Everything. God, you're a Nimrod. Yeah, I have to take everything off just to Oh go. my god, bro. Why wouldn't you remember that? Why didn't you remember it? <laughs> oh, so Braven has the headliner and everything in. And the rear hatch actually has to go back like a half of an inch, bro. And it's only because of this. How it doesn't line up perfect. I mean, they're both a little close. Like, it's close. But... This the whole thing needs to slide back ever so slightly for this line to be continuous right here You see how it's got like a little like it's a little bit off. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but We planned on fixing it, but now he's got the whole headliner and everything in there <laughs> Damn What is that? Oh the cover That's sick Where'd you find that in the parts DA? No, in the cargo cover. Oh, you already had it. Yeah, I already had it. Sick sauce. Sauce room, which is sick. Look at this man's, bro. Pulling the seats out the bedroom. Bro, my, my bedroom? Is bro, empty now? Dude, like, I just gotta get the dash and all the plastics for the dash and my room's empty. <laughs> Braven's been keeping this stuff safely tucked away inside of his bedroom for like the past year. But yet they're all still dusty. Yeah, definitely dusty. We live in Arizona, man. What do you expect? Like that headrest.
Child. Heaven. Child. Mine doesn't do the cool freaking. Child. 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 You got a bug in your nose. Nah! <laughs> Dude, why did they put the dash in that way? That was like a square peg in a round hole type situation right there. Oh. Braven, you drive me nuts sometimes, bro. Peace.